Good morning, and welcome to Redeemer Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Gary Lodholt. As we conclude exploring the miracle of water turned into wine, and how there's a lot more there than we had realized, today I want to look at the different reactions that people in the story had to the miracle. Before we dig into that, however, I have to speculate and wonder about Mary. How did she react to what happened? What did she think? The truth is, we don't know. The Bible doesn't mention her again in relationship to this story. The story does mention the steward of the wedding. You might call him the caterer or the wedding director. It was his job to make sure everything went smoothly and to solve problems that arose. But in this story, the steward is surprised and amazed. Not only is there an abundance of wine, but it's better than the wine that was served first. And the steward assumed that the wine came from the unprecedented hospitality of the groom for his guests. But the disciples see something entirely different. They saw the revelation of God in the transformation and abundance of the wine. They see that Jesus has brought God among them. Then we're back to the steward again. You see the normal rules of etiquette, normal rules of hosting an event like this would suggest that you serve the good wine first. And then when everyone is too drunk to care, you serve the lesser wine. But as far as the steward can see, the groom has reversed the process, serving the better wine second. And so the steward tries to make sense of this and reshapes the miracle to fit the rules of etiquette that he knows. He dismisses the miracle in favor of his old understanding. But the disciples see what happened and they allowed their old understandings of things to be reshaped by the miracle. They didn't try to fit the miracle into their way of thinking. They changed their way of thinking to embrace the miracle. When Jesus acts, it leads to belief. The whole thing also points to the new possibilities coming in Jesus. All our old expectations are done away with. In Jesus, we are invited to let go of how we thought the world was ordered so that we can see that God is among us doing something new. That's a theme that runs throughout the entire Bible from beginning to end. That's what the word Genesis means. The very first book of the Bible is about God doing a new thing. And every time in Genesis when human efforts fail and reach a dead end, God does something new. Then, in the very last book of the Bible, Revelation, it comes to a close with a dramatic scene picturing God on the throne of heaven. And for almost the first time in the whole book, God speaks and God says, See, I am making all things new. This miracle announces God's new age in Christ when all things are made new, even us. Thanks for watching, and remember to let this day belong to God.